Hello and welcome to today's video. And uh, for the past few days, we've been working on the network analysis, and uh, we we'll probably will be able to finish up with uh, the network analysis using the shape files. So today I will introduce us into um, preparing data for analysis, network analysis using uh, GeoDatabase. Right, so there are a lot of similarities you will find between the, the network that the uh, network analysis using the shapefile and the database. That's because the data are the same, but just that the method is a little different. So the database combine everything in one. The database is a container that contains your future data set and your future class in it. So the shapefile, whereas as you can see from this side, are just basically just create a folder and then you put them there so they're just a little bit of um difference between these two but there are a whole lot of similarities so let's get started with it by first we'll create um a geo database so you right click go to new and then you choose file uh, personal geo database so let's rename it and uh, we name it amac okay so you right click again and then you select future data set so let's name it network okay and let's use this coordinate system okay we'll finish then now we're going to export all of these these are the shape files we use for uh the network analysis using the shape file so what we'll do now for us not to create all of this again we're just going to export this into this so to start that i'll right click on amac export and export to geodatabase single and then the location and then network so the output now we type AMAC because it's coming from shape file to uh, future class. Okay, so that's done. We go back, just repeat the process for all of them. Okay, so I have a video comprehensively done for this whole thing, but I'm repeating it because uh, I assume it since it's a new video. I don't want us to I don't want to refer you back to the previous video. So okay, so hospital, you okay? <laughs> Alright, so the hospitals have come in. And then next we go to there are two hospitals anyway. The other one is just one uh, point. So let's export that also. So this will be host Peter, since we already have hospital already on it. All right, so you clearly see that this is the point. Okay, so the next will be hotel. So you right click, export to your database, and then it's going to be in network, and it's going to be hotel. It's just one hotel, I guess. Okay, it's done then. Uh, what next? The road, because we'll be needing the road. So, right click on the road and then we export again also to your database. And network, then we put it as road. Oh, sorry. Road, and then we OK. So this says there are many, it's going to take quite some time, but it will get done. Uh, the road has been completed, so it's been added. So um, next we have our, our residential, that's another vital stuff we need in in doing this so um
then we call it residential under the network analysis preparing network data using the show file we cover how we get these residentials from the view from the uh, from the polygon to the uh, the points we're having today and then also the road make the for us to make it usable in network analysis we also cover that in that video so the link to that video will be on the description this is also done so and then i think let's look at what else do we want okay let's check it out and then i think okay supermarket i think this is the last one so supermarket we export so that video covers um all of this so i am not going to go into that anymore since we've done that on that video so you could also use that video to um get how we get this done so that you will not get lost if you just watch this video okay so uh so there's also a comprehensive video on how to move between share file to future class and all that so basically this is how you could do that for network analysis so stay tuned for the next video we're going to cover how to build the network uh, data set using the geo database all right stay tuned and bye continuing on our journey through the network analysis today we'll be looking at building a network data set using the uh, network data set using geodatabase in Ocean. so this is our geodatabase now i said earlier on that i'll be showing the difference what uh, makes difference now if you look at down here on this road if you right click on the road you will see directly saying new data set that was what we use in creating um uh the future data set we use in doing the network analysis using this but on the geodatabase here is our geodatabase if i right click on geodatabase there's nowhere that says i should build a network data set if you look through you will not see that and if i enter the new data set and then i do some you will not also see that but if i right click on the uh, future data set and then i come down to new you will see where they say topology you also see network data set okay so that's one of the difference so i click on new network data set and then it comes here now another difference between this and the other let me see if that one also works so that we look at it so i was trying to see if we can be able to see the difference or better let's look at it now if you right click on this and go down to network data set it's going to open now you won't see anything here right nothing but then let's look at this new and network data set you will see that choose a version for your network data set that is which version of the ArcGIS do you want to use either use 10.0 or 10.1 but well, anyway we're using 10.8.2 so it doesn't really matter so you go next now on the other one you won't see this you only see the root because it's just the root you're clicking but since this one is all it's a container containing all of them everything you see here are the same thing that are here inside this data set network data set okay future data set it rather but you see that everything is containing it but what we only want to use here is the root okay so but on that other one, since you're only right clicking on road, so it's just road. But here, it has to be everything. So you go next. Now, do you want to model turn in this network? It's all depend on whether yes or no. But then let's leave it as yes. And then it's asking, no. This one say, would you like to model the elevation of your network? No. Okay, so it's asking now. We already, it's since we imported the data directly from, uh, the shape file it's going to come up with everything that we have done already so then next and next 
is asking do you want to establish driving uh, direction settings for this network the yes is no you can use the default direction settings you can click the direction button below the space file so, but it's not really also it's only showing i think the data is not prepared it's not uh, uh, done to access direction i think so so we we'll continue our journey and then we finish so it's creating so it's asking whether the new data set has been created would you like to build it now yes so it's going it's taking quite a lot of time because it's there are quite a lot of roads loaded in that uh, data set so we have to be patient a bit so it's asking do you also want to add all the future classes that participated in the network to the map yes so it's going to add all of everything then yeah so then you can now um, basically add up all of the other details uh, the stops basically so the stops are so you just drag this and drop then you can remove the root from it yeah so the stops so let me remove the root this set from among them since it's already here so basically these are how you could um, build network data set using the shape um, the future class anyway so it has created all the um, the junctions and all the things that is needed on the road on on this analysis so if we want to do new route so let me just quickly finish it up here what to do new route which is the same thing as we've been doing often now uh as usual you break out the new route and then you click on this button here and it's going to bring this out so then you load the stops our stops in this case uh we load uh what okay let's we're going to load um okay let's still use the other scenario because those are the data we have i want to move from hotel to the hospital okay to the hospitals and then uh, I want to also from the hospital I want to go to uh, the supermarket all right so I will load that in so I have three of those points that are loaded in okay so uh, yeah so I have those points that are loaded in so let me make it more like let's make this blue in color and then make the hotel yellow in color and then we make the supermarket red okay make the supermarket red so these are the three points we are using so now so these are the three points we're using we want to move from um, the hotel to the hospital then from the hospital to the hotel okay so the journey is going to be more like okay so we check and see on the properties of the uh, new route um yeah the stops okay i think the closest yes and then okay so here we are going to use the time we can actually also use the length and the meters we're going to use time here and then we okay so now once we click on solve it's going to solve one two three so it's not going it's animal is supposed to go one two three but then here is what happened now It moves from one, then find this suitable route 
to the hospital here. Then from this hospital, it found a route to the uh, supermarket here. Okay, so this may not be the best route because from here now, you want to go back to the hotel. Okay, so it's better you said you move from the hotel to the supermarket then to the hospital. Or if you calculate the time, but I try checking the direction. You know, when we're preparing this data, we're told that it's not, um, it does not have uh, the direction. So, so yeah, because while creating the driving direction was not enabled. So uh, I will also check on how to create data with that uh, direction being enabled. But then this is how you can do new route. And then you can also save it by right clicking and then exporting it as usual. Under here, you right click on the route and then you export as usual. So you could go on on this other analysis. The new area, new service area closes by using the other ones. Every other thing remains the same. So I think we have bring the issue of uh, network analysis to an end. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being with us for this while. Uh, other coffees are spreading up. So just keep uh, tuning in. Subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the updates that we'll be bringing your way. All right, so thank you very much for and now you can join our membership uh, group just click on join as you tune into any of our video you see join button click on it and then join you can support us through our patreon you can support us by buying our membership monthly any of the membership there they are as cheap as possible so just support us in any way you can so that we can keep making content for you god bless you and bye bye